dear students today i will talk about soil erosion so what is soil erosion first we have to know soil erosion means that the removal of top soil and you know that students in the top soil all the nutrients of the soil presents in the top layer and whenever it is also removing that is called soil erosion and here students i have divided three divisions you can see here soil erosion can be divided in basically three type or three category and these are the main agents of soil erosion due to this water human action and wind basically the soil are uh, eroding from different parts of this country even all over the world but what are the main types and how the soils are basically that eroding you can see here first i will talk about water you can see here some points i have given here splash erosion sheet erosion rill erosion gully erosion leaching shore erosion and stream bank erosion so what are these first we have to know splash erosion you know students during rain during heavy rain when we used to say cats and dogs like this rain will be there the heavy drop when it will fall over the surface of the earth and if it is exposed directly to the um, uh, that to the nature then by that heavy rain drop the soil or that uh, loose soils over the surface it will be eroded then what is the difference of these also sheet erosion and between this splash erosion sheet erosion means just see here this is a uh, surface of the land and if that continuous this splash erosion happening then over this the whole a thin layer of the soil it will be eroded by this run of water okay this is called sheet erosion it means a thin layers totally over this uh, that surface it will be eroded then what is real erosion if this kind of also continuous rainfall will be there and then what we can see over the land like if i am also drawing like this way if it is a part of land it is simple that simple this also finger like this kind of erosion we can see in the land masses due to this rainfall and this is called real erosion which is not deep which is not too much deep okay this is called real erosion but when we will see gully erosion the gully erosion it will form a gully or uh, in this case this kind of finger we can see it will be little deeper okay it will be little deeper even you uh, if you have visited students in the part of um, any of the hilly areas in the hilly areas you have you might have seen like this the hilly areas are like this and in in these hilly areas some gullies it you can observe which are little deep and forming narrow gullies continuous due to rainfall this kind of gully form in that valleys even in that hilly areas and you can easily see in chambal valley region this kind of gully erosion okay so what are the difference between real and gully real erosion these are finger uh, uh, finger like erosion that also channels and which are not deeper than gully but gully are the deeper one and which forming narrow also this kind of gully in that hilly areas even sometime in the valley areas okay and leaching what is leaching leaching means simply that um, suppose here uh, this is the surface this is the these are the trees so you know trees always will also restrict or prevent the uh, prevent uh, the movement of the wind even uh, whenever the trees will be there that will uh, that areas uh, soil will not be eroded because it will have it roots and it will hold the uh, soil particles in that area but when this area become deforested or deforested area it will be then the soil it will be loose and it will be exposed 
like i am giving the example after harvesting the crops basically you have seen uh, that also some for some time the farmers used to uh, used to that also leave that land without you know, growing any crops and in that case uh, the nutrients which uh, presents in the top layer okay the nutrients which is present which are present in the top layer of the soil it basically seeps to the lower lower layer of the soil gradually 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 this nutrients move to the lower layer whenever there will be rain water or any water through that it gradually gradually it will move towards down side or uh, underground side so in that case the upper layer the surface layer it will lose the nutrients which uh, can also make the soil infertile so this is called leaching leaching means when the uh, nutrients it is or uh, the water basically seeping uh, towards downside or to the lower level of the soil that is called leaching and then sewer erosion you know students you have seen that uh, coastal area also um, get affected by this sewer erosion you know i am also showing here a southern part of india you know that southern part of india this is also uh, peninsula part where at the western side arabian sea at the southern part indian ocean and at the eastern part bay of bengal okay so in that case this the this is the basically shore area of india or the uh, coastal area by the speedy waves or the you know, waves which are having a high velocity due to that the coastal area get affect and the soil erode that is we are saying here shore erosion okay next is spring bank erosion you know every year some of the rivers are having this kind of erosion and uh, ganga and um, we can say brahmaput uh, brahmaputra even, even that we can uh, tell the tributaries of this rivers like yamuna rivers and then other rivers which are causing that flood every year this kind of rivers that um, by this uh, flash flood we can say by the flash flood what i have said flash flood by this flash flood every year this uh, rivers basic side or the bank it get affect and erosion happen so here students i have explained about you know, water that through that water what kind of erosion it causing hope you have understood later on i am uh, in next video i am explaining that human and wind okay